What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Striller, once again, back in the house. I'm about to get out of here. It's almost seven o'clock. That means I got about an hour to do what I'm about to try to do, which is baiting flight my Tiny Hawk. I have two Tiny Hawk twos. I have the race and I have the Tiny Hawk two freestyles. So I'm gonna maiden flight those. If I can find a place to fly on this, safe and I don't feel like you know I'm gonna be crowded by other people and nervous and all that stuff so find a small park or open field somewhere around my house I'm gonna hop on the bike and go look for that before I go I just want to quickly show you a new gizmo gadget uh, accessory that I have for any action cam I can use it with my Osmo pocket which I'm shooting on right now or I can use it with my Femi palm which I have right here so if you look at my backpack strap I have this attachment. So there is the attachment right there. It's a Velcro scrap that goes around my FPV backpack. And this gadget is brought together by this three connection hook right here. So I can put my whatever action camera I want on the GoPro mount. And then it, it attaches to the backpack. And then once I take it off, I have this selfie stick. It's a selfie stick slash tripod. So it's like a three in one type situation. So I'm about to use it while I'm on my bike. So you may be asking yourself, why aren't you using the Insta360 that you just bought and showed us the medallion and everything. I'm rocking the medallion still in case I want to use it later, but I'm saving the battery life of the Insta360 for the FPV footage that I'm about to shoot. And also the storage space, since it's only seven gigs on here, I'm, I'm saving that for that purpose. So that's why I'm using this new setup. There we go. So there, that's it. That's it hooked in. And we're about to get this show on the road. And I can tilt it far enough where, uh-oh, didn't want to do that. I can tilt it far enough where I can see the screen. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. See the screen and adjust the joystick however I want it to get the picture I want. It's pretty unobtrusive. It sticks out quite a bit though, away from my body if you notice that. So if I adjust this outward, but it's not so bad. I don't think it'll get hung up. We'll see how it operates and then, you know, once I disconnect it, it goes in a tripod mode. I can use it as a tripod or extend it as a selfie stick. So it makes transitioning from using it one way to the other very, very easy uh at least that's the plan we'll see how it works when i'm on the bike you'll see the footage on my backpack from the semi palm as i ride my bike's all really smooth since i'm on the bike shop my brakes kind of rub a little bit different way than they did before okay i forgot to use the microphone that had the wind muff on it so i'm just going to turn the volume down and narrate this part of the trip as you see, the Femi Palm is very steady on this backpack mount. It's almost as steady as the chesty, I would say. I noticed a couple of times I, I, I seem like I bump it or jar it and it throws the, the head out of alignment a little bit more so than maybe the chesty would. But this option looks a little less ridiculous, but you get about the same results. And I mean, you couldn't really wear a chesty with a backpack. So if you had your backpack, you're out, which you know, a lot of people travel and always have a backpack. This is a, a, a great option. And you can put a GoPro on there, Osmo, uh, Osmo Action, if that's more of your liking, and it will work just as fine. It would have the optical stabilization opposed to the mechanical of the gimbal of the Femi Palm, like, you know, um, so now since they got the microphone working again, the audio, I'm back in love with this camera all over again. If you see that first segment I shot with my Osmo Pocket, it's um, it just way too close up to my face, and that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Even reviewing it, I don't I don't like it. So the palm, you know, it's, it's it doesn't have as a good sensor. It, it the low light in is good. 
um, it has infinite focus, focus, so everything's a focus on like the pocket that uh, gives you some of that depth of feel or whatever. Anyway, saying all that, I, I, I still this camera is pretty cool uh, for the money, so uh, I'm gonna keep keep using it until it breaks or lose it or something. Anyway, I'm gonna speed this part up and we can get to the park and take this bird up. So I just wanted you know y'all to see this footage and let's check it out once it's sped up, see how that looks. Okay, this is sped up inside the computer, um, not inside the camera. So it's just one pass as fast as the computer would let me do it. So I could probably compress it down, render it, compress, keep doing it over and over, but I'm just gonna do it whatever speed this is. Yeah, it, the camera, the point is the camera still looks real nice and steady, even sped up. Using the backpack mount with the Femi Palm gives similar results as the chesty mount does with the Femi Palm. Workout pause. Okay, I just got to a park and there is nobody around. If y'all can look, nobody around. I got a nice little playground there to fly around. Nicely manicured, low grass. This is perfect. Hopefully this metal roof over my head won't interfere with my transmitter. But I need to stay in here for shade. So let me go ahead and set up and get the first bird in the air before someone else shows up. All right, so this is how the uh, tripod situation looks in use. I have the third leg back here sticking under the tripod because it, it's extra weight on that end. So I'm gonna have to make sure that it has uh, that to counterbalance the extra load leaning in that direction and it works fine. I have it shooting over the buckle part right here and so far it doesn't look like it's in the shot. So that is a win. Um, got it facing me. So I just want to show y'all this set up and now i'm about to go ahead and get my get ready to get my bird up first one anyway that which will be i'm gonna first take up tiny hawk race here see how that flies so i took the standard and i relocated uh closer to the field Thank you. 
sunlight over here so I think I'm gonna pass on uh, flying the other one so got two flights in with this one so I'm gonna call that call that a good day <laughs> and uh try to come back out tomorrow okay the, the sunlight was shifting over here and it sounded like it's gonna rain so I just cut my trip a little short as you go maybe you can see over there the park lights started to come on and there was just like too many people milling around so uh, being that this is my first time flying this thing I don't want to lose control and hit somebody or whatever so uh, two packs in that's a short day but uh, didn't crash didn't uh, break anything so that's a good that's a good day Good. <laughs> we good.